Hi everyone. Welcome to Alternavita. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for your time. This week's post is on beetroot powder, but I do have a um, clarification to make regarding Rishi, the last um, post on Rishi and its um, regulation of metabolism via the gut-brain axis and specifically leptin. I was relating the research from Dr. Robert Lustig and I inadvertently <clears throat> got um, his two patient groups confused with each other. So um, the one group of pediatric patients were brain tumor children, and they um, their hypothalamus was destroyed. He could not restore the hypothalamus, so he... Um, went downstream and used a drug to block insulin and that in turn helped them and the other group had metabolic syndrome and obesity and he removed the fructose specifically from their diet and kept calories and carbs and all other food components the same they did not lose weight, but at the end of the study, they had improved metabolic function simply by removing the sugar and in turn the fructose. So I just want to clarify that. I got, I got them both. I confused some of the results between each of them, and I didn't mean to do that. So beetroot, in recent years, there's been an increasing interest in the biological potential of red beetroot, beetroot as a health promoting functional food. Beetroot is rich in nitrate and offers a natural way to boost nitric oxide levels, potentially aiding in hypertension and improving endothelial function. Its betalane pigments demonstrate antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, as well as chemo-preventive properties, making beetroot a promising therapeutic option for various pathologies linked to oxidative stress and inflammation. This uh, review, the potential benefits of beetroot root supplementation on health and disease, features in beetroot's impact on inflammation, oxidative stress, cognition, cognition, and endothelial function. The high bioavailability of inorganic dietary nitrate from beetroot is well established, close to 100% absorption following digestion. So again, it helps endothelial function, oxidative stress, anti-inflammatory, and cognitive function. These um, properties are well established and well demonstrated in human and animal studies, making it popular in managing cardiovascular issues and cancer. Human trials indicate beetroot's ability to lower blood pressure, reduce inflammation, combat oxidative stress, and maintain end endothelial function, improving and improves cerebrovascular dynamics. It also enhances athletic performance. And who it may benefit... One second. Okay, it has positive effects on health, improving outcomes for hypertension, atherosclerosis, type 2 diabetes, and dementia. Studies have focused on its ability to reduce blood pressure when taken as a juice supplement or in bread with its high inorganic nitrate content being a key factor for its impact on the vasculature. 
And I believe in this um, article, it also states that it helps the brain metabolize glucose. So um, it's also rich in phytochemicals like ascorbic acid, car carotenoids, phenolic acids, and flavonoids, along with betalanes. This has led to interest in beetroot's potential role against conditions involving oxidative stress and chronic inflammation. Since it does help you increase nitric oxide, uh, nitric oxide is necessary to help uh, create interferon. For a food component to be deemed healthful, it must be bioavailable in vivo, meaning its active com compounds are absorbed through the gastrointestinal tract and become available in the bloodstream for cellular use. This molecular integrity during digestion is crucial for it to reach circulation and exert beneficial effects, which it does. So almost 100, not almost, 100% of the um, inorganic dietary nitrates are converted to nitric oxide and it, it, it is highly bioavailable. So, um, while the exact mechanisms underlying beetroot's benefits remain partly unclear, current understanding suggests its cardiovascular, physiological, and metabolic effects stem from nitrates conversion to nitric oxide. Okay, the, the betalanes um, absorption and the betalanes um, absorption is less understood. While well, betalanes and other phenolic, phenolics drive its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory actions, this remains less understood. So more studies are needed to understand how the pigments are working. Okay, so as a um, beetroot is available as a juice, powders, or supplements, this is what led to this. I actually saw beetroot supplements in Walmart and they were very affordable. I usually take the powder, but um, when I buy some in the future, I will probably switch to the supplements. As a whole food, red beets are safe. Diabetics may want to measure their effect, the effects on blood glucose, may want to, especially if ju juicing, because you might increase the fructose content. And if, you, if it isn't affecting your blood sugar negatively, you might want to keep it as a whole food with the fiber intact. Or try the supplements or the powder. I usually just mix mine in my um, yogurt and that's how I take beetroot powder. Okay everyone, I hope you'll give beetroot a try. I really like it. Um, I sit for long periods at my desk and it really does help my circulation in my lower legs and feet. And it also helps me um, get more oxygen when I'm going for walks. And um, it is a, it does help athletic performance. So for all these reasons, more oxygen, more nitric oxide, um, dilating your blood vessels, helping your body get more oxygen helping your brain uh, convert, helping brain metabolism, all these reasons beetroot is a great superfood. And I hope you'll give it a try. 
So, okay, thanks for your time, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.